Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you're having a great start to your day. Before we get into the video, there's going to be some funky lighting stuff happening here. It's actually currently a very cold, very sunny um, day and it's also windy. <laughs> so we are surrounded by massive, massive trees and um, they are swaying in the wind and it's casting all sorts of like weird shadows in this room. So sorry about the lighting, but um, it's what I have to work with today. Anyway, um, today's video is the very last one in my best of 2023 series and I was kind of working my way through the different home fragrance companies that I wanted to share and the last one on the list was Kringle. The reason that I put Kringle last is because honestly I had the hardest time landing on just five fragrances to talk about. Um, I feel like that was the case with a couple of other companies as well. But with Kringle especially, they put out some fantastic scents last year and um, honestly I could have probably done like 15 or even 20 fragrance picks uh, for this video but I wanted to keep it to five so um, it was really hard for me to do that but I have five in front of me. I don't think that two of them will surprise you. I think one of them might be a surprise i don't know i definitely tried to challenge myself just a little bit and not necessarily put in all of the things that you know like i've talked to death because <laughs> even though there are a few scents that like i just absolutely adored like there were also other scents that i loved too i just didn't like i don't know lament about my love for them quite as much as some of these other ones so Anyway, you guys, today we're going to be talking about my top five uh, picks from 2023 when it comes to Kringle Candle. I will tell you right now, there are no country candles here that are going to be mentioned. Um, I definitely have a preference for this particular style of jar from Kringle. I'm going to call this their apothecary style jar. And we have some really amazing changes that are coming down the pipeline for Kringle. Um, so this jar here will get uh, an addition in this collection, I guess you could say. Um, Mick has been teasing this for uh, the ambassadors, just kind of showing us the vessel, the lid, the packaging and everything for this. Um, I, I am not 100% sure if they are going to remove the medium size. So this is the large jar. They also offer currently a medium style in this jar. I'm not sure if they're going to do away with the medium jar because of the addition of this new four wick style of jar. Um, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. So, uh, but if you definitely have a preference for the medium jars, let Kringle know. Um, I typically don't think that the medium jars sell as well as the large jars. And I think the price point difference between the two, for me personally, it makes more sense just to spend a couple extra bucks to get the large jar in place of the medium. Um, but I do know there are a lot of you out there who really like these medium jars because you're able to get through them faster. So if you are a fan of that, let Kringle know, either send them a DM or, you know, just contact their customer service and just say, hey, I'm a fan of the medium jar. Here's the vote to, you know, keep those on hand. But for me, I prefer these large jars. And honestly, I am most looking forward to these larger jars with additional wicks i just think that's going to be the game changer for those of you that have tried kringle in the past but you want uh, more than just a medium strength and throw those um additional wicks and the overall significantly larger wax pool that you're going to get from that style of jar it's i think it's going to increase the strength and throw quite a bit so um I think those of you that have been waiting to order from Kringle, this will be your chance. I, just, I cannot wait to get my hands on these. And for me personally, even if they're going to cost a little bit more, I know that the soy formula, one, burns forever, and two, it just burns so beautifully that I don't anticipate having to uh, figure out a way to melt these ever. I just. 
I, I know I'm not gonna have to figure out a crock situation for them. I know I'm not gonna have to put them underneath a lamp. They're just gonna burn flawlessly because that's what the Kringle Soar formula does, is it just burns perfectly. Whatever wicks, whatever soy formulation that Kringle has, it is the cleanest burning soy formula that I have ever come across. And it's actually kind of funny that I love Kringle as much as I do now, because if you'll remember back to 2015, I did not have a good experience with Kringle when I first tried them. That was when they were still using the paraffin formulation, even in this apothecary cell jar. And I did not like it. The wax got horribly discolored. Um, the strength and throw was kind of abysmal. And they just got dirty, like just very sooty, very just gross looking. Um, and the overall burn is super important to me. Like I don't want a candle that's crazy sooty. I don't want a candle that I'm going to have to babysit. I don't want to look over and see my candle like smoking. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of picky about it that, this, at this point. And I just find that this Kringle soy formula is super, super clean. I mean, out of all the other brands that I've talked about, like it's just clean and that is important. So excited for all the changes to come um and without further ado you guys let's talk about these faves so i'm gonna get started with um the one that i talked about probably the most frequently last year and it's reserve jelly donut listen i i think this is the most delicious donut candle that i've ever smelled in my life i mean next to i would say homeworks hot cider donut which uh also a delicious authentic donut scent this one here with that raspberry like filling note it just it is so delicious i cannot get enough of this one i have three of these on backup um, and the next time that it does pop into stock at Kringle, I will absolutely buy a couple more. I won't go crazy and like hoard because <laughs> I'm just not in that mode anymore, but it does come back kind of rarely. I really wish that Kringle would just put out like, you know, a healthy, like, I don't know, put out like 5,000 of these. <laughs> Just so that like everyone who's been dying to like get their hands on this one can finally get it. It is, oh, you guys, everything from that like raspberry filling to the like fried dough note and like the powdered sugar, it's all there. It is pure perfection. Also, this is the strongest like two wick that I think I've ever burned from Kringle. The strength and throw of this one is amazing. And I would love to see this in a four wick format. Oh, I would be so pleased. <laughs> I, just, I, I would buy it. I, I won't say in bulk because I'm not that person anymore. I'm, I'm no longer hoarding candles, but oh man, if, if I was running low and it was readily available, I would just keep ordering it. Like I would have it on an auto delivery. This would be my candle on auto delivery. I love it. I can't say enough good things about it. And if you too are a um, jelly donut fan, uh, leave your love for it down below. I just think it's so delicious. Listen, this next one is gonna be a big fat duh. But um, I've been, I, I worked on it for a very long time with Kringle. <laughs> it's my collab candle, Vintage Pomander. Of course, she was going to get a slot here. Um, listen, I love this scent. I went through several variations. Um, Kringle, the way that we uh, like came to this scent was I initially just kind of sent over some fragrance notes that I thought sounded amazing together. And then the Kringle perfumers started whipping up several different samples with those different notes. And a couple of them, they added like a few extra things in there. And so, you know, I was getting all these really great samples and burning them and having a chance to experience them and smell them in my home. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Alphonse is here. Um, 
but the one that I could not get away from was the original like what came to be vintage pomander um, but there were a few slight tweaks that I wanted to it and so we just kind of narrowed in on vintage pomander as like the scent and started kind of playing with the wicks adding a little bit more of this a little bit more of that taking this away and then this was the final result this is by far for me and of course because you know like i i had a say in what it smelled like this to me smells like the perfect orange pomander the focus is more on the citrus um there's a definite clove note there has to be it's an orange pomander so cloves are implied basically but there's also just kind of a soft tree note in here as well as just a touch of vanilla honestly this is pure perfection to my nose and this is the type of holiday scent that just it makes it made my home feel so warm so cozy so inviting i absolutely loved that i got to burn this this last christmas and that all of like our holiday memories are now associated like with this particular scent this is what i love most about home fragrance it's just kind of building you know those memories around these different fragrances and then in the future whenever i smell this it takes me back to christmas 2023 which is so awesome because that was the year that I got to burn a candle that I like got to have a say in from everything from the label to the fragrance to the wicks to everything like it, it was such a neat opportunity for me and I am so eternally grateful and I'm most grateful that so many of you enjoyed it as well. In fact, it was like such a popular scent that Mick said that he would go ahead and keep it around for this coming holiday season, 2024. So I'm really, really thankful and excited to be able to get my hands on more of this in the future. Um, I just love it. And I love that they let me put just, I didn't ask for my name to be put on anything. Um, all that I really wanted was just a little homage to my little pug besties. So I was able to put a little pug in there on the label, um, just a cute little silhouette. And it just makes my heart so happy. I, and I just, I love this scent. So of course, like, yeah, duh, it's absolutely one of my favorites. <laughs> in fact, it's probably the favorite from last year. Now jelly donut is not far behind. So, I mean, I wish I was the one that came up with jelly donut. Uh, but whoever did, I give them the biggest round of applause because, oh my gosh, it's so heavenly. All right, let's do a little bit of a surprise. I am not a huge fan of the summer months. Like, I've not made that, you know, any secret here on my channel. I love the cold weather. Right now, it's, I think it's like 20 degrees out. Um, we had like a snow event come through and we're still frozen from that right now. And I love it. I, I don't I don't need it to be 85 degrees. Um, I most certainly don't need it to be 95 degrees. I just ugh, hate the summer. Ugh. But if my summers include this particular scent here, I think it's going to make my summers going forward a little bit more bearable. What is this? This is Kringle Sea Breeze. You guys, this feeds my love of all things coconut. Last year was the year that I really got into coconut perfumes and I just went ham on coconut perfumes right um and even in home fragrance I was noticing that there were a lot of different kinds of coconuts coming out but this sea breeze oh you guys it smells like a suntan beachy kind of coconut you smell like that salty ocean air vibe there's like a white like a clean white floral component to this as well it is absolutely delicious so the notes here are coconut ozone fruit green and amber i don't think that amber really makes sense here but all of the other notes definitely do it is it, it just smells so fresh and coconutty and beachy like this in a perfume i i would sport it all summer long it's so delicious and if i had to pick something that was you know 
not fall, not holiday. Like this I think was like a standout summer fragrance from Kringle. So this one here, I certainly hope she's coming back. I know it's readily available in the wax melts right now, but I, I need it. I need it to come back in the candle format because that's an amazing scent. All right, let's go to another scent that I know was highly anticipated when it was released. And um, I was really excited about it because I'm a huge fan of uh, this, the perfume that this reminds me of as well. Um, we're talking unicorn poop. So this was from the Kringle, I believe it was called the Fantasy Collection. Um, I also really like the Fairy's Floss as well. But this unicorn poop, you guys, I fell in love with it. And it smells exactly like Aqualina Pink Sugar. If you are, uh, if you were in your teens or 20s in like the early 2000s, you're probably quite familiar with Aqualina Pink Sugar. It smells like pure cotton candy. It is such a girly, feminine, fun, bright, vibrant scent. Some would say kind of cloying. It's not cloying to my nose. I think it just smells like fun. It just, this scent just makes me happy, you guys. I wore Aqualina Pink Sugar like it was going out of style. In fact, I think I may have been wearing that the night that I met Craig in like 2003. Um, oh, it's so good, you guys. And this smells exactly like it. It just is cotton candy fun. I love it. This just, it brightens my, I bought probably five or six of these. Like I just fell in love with it. So I'm a big fan of the unicorn poop myself. <laughs> also, I, I don't know. I believe in having a sense of humor. I know there were some people out there who were like, why would you buy a candle that has like the word poop in it? I think that's funny. I don't think it's offensive. I, that makes me laugh. <laughs> I think it's hysterical. Unicorns, they, they pro if, if unicorns were real, they would probably poop rainbows and it would probably smell like Aqualina pink sugar. So makes sense to me. Anyway, I love the name. I love the scent. I love that I have some backups of it because I'm gonna be rocking the crap out of this come spring and summer. It's so good, you guys. It's also a good performer for me. Last but not least, um, listen, I, the holidays, Kringle does the holidays extremely well. And um, it was hard for me to pick like my favorite tree scent. Um, I mean, there's Christmas, there's Christmas stroll, there's cozy Christmas, uh, there's, there's so many options, right? But I always go back to my beloved wishing for Christmas. Now this year, it also came out in the country candle format. Um, but for me, this mercury glass jar is the very best iteration of this particular scent. Um, the notes here are cookies, vanilla, sugar cane, and pine. It's basically sugar cookies and Christmas tree. It, it smells like going to your grandma's house for Christmas. It really does. It's so good. The, the sugar cookie note in here also has like a delicious like almost like a buttercream frosting on the sugar cookies. So good, so delicious. In fact, like this is one that I burned to about the halfway point. You know, typically what I will do is I don't put candles away, Put I don't just put them away. Well, okay, back up, words. <laughs> I don't put candles like this away for the following year usually. I like to kind of get them out of the system. Um, I just hate getting out a candle that's already been burned. Like, I don't know what that is for me, but I don't like it. But this one is so good, and I'm always afraid that it's not gonna come back the following year, so I just kind of savor the ones that I have. I love the packaging here, I love the fragrance, and it burns like a, like a champ. It's strong, it's a solid performer, and um, my family really likes this one too. So, you guys, these are the five that I landed on. Were these the five you thought I was gonna pick? <laughs> I'm kind of curious about what you thought I would pick versus what I'm mentioning here. Believe me, there's so many more that I wanna talk about, but yeah, we're limiting it to five. So let me know what your top two or three picks from Kringle were last year. Let me know what you are most excited to try from Kringle this year. Um, 
And yeah, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. If you want to purchase anything from Kringle, I'll put a link for them down below. I do have a discount code so you can save 15% with code MELANIE15. Um, but yeah, let me know what you end up getting if you decide to make a purchase. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next. I need to stop filming. All right, you guys. Toodaloo.